Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Services. So in this video, I will talk about press under the British rule, and uh, this is one of the most important topic for the preparation. This is the part of modern India. So let's say about that press under the British rule. So initially it was it is a little boring, but uh, later on uh, some important acts will be discussed at here. So just initially I am discussing all of those uh, newspapers I started in the modern India British time. So let's see about all of those newspapers. So in 1550 first press was established by Portuguese. So first press was established by Portuguese. But this very important question 1780 in 1780 James Augustus Hickey started the first newspaper weekly in India and it is called as a Bengal Gazette. Okay. James Augustus Hickey he started the first newspaper weekly in India called Bengal Gazette. This paper attacked both Warren Hastings and Chief Justice E. M. P. for the discriminatory policies. In 1785, Madras Courier Weekly was started. So Madras Courier Weekly was started in 1785. In 1790, Bombay Courier and in 1791, Bombay Gazette merged with Bombay Herald. I think you might have heard about the Bombay Herald in 1792. So they got merged as a Bombay Herald in 1792. In 1818, Dik Darshan was started as the first Bengali weekly by Marshman from Sri Rampur. On 4 December 1821, this is one of the most important line. Raja Ramohan Rai started Sambad Komudi. On 4 December 1821, Raja Ramohan Rai started Sambad Komudi. In 1822, he published a weekly. So Raja Ramohan Rai published a weekly Mirat ul Akbar in the Persian language. Okay. In 1837, Sayyid ul Akbar, a weekly in Urdu, was published. In 1838, Dilli Akbar was published. In 1840, Hindu Patriot was started by Harish Chandra Mukherjee. In 1851, Gujarati fortnightly Rast Guktar was started by Dada Bhai Naroji. Okay, so Gujarati fortnightly Rast Guftar was started by Dada Bhai Naroji. In 1862, Indian Mirror was started. So, just just a second. So initially, the editor was Devendra Tagore followed by Kesav Chandra Sen and Narendra Nath Sen. Okay. On 28th September, this is historic day. On 28th September 1861, Bombay Times, Bombay Standard, Bombay Courier and the Telegraph, they merged together to form Times of India. Times of India and its editor was Robert Knight. Okay, 1861. It was established by Carey, Ward, and Massman in 1818. Initially, it was a monthly, but later changed to weekly. In 1875, so this is important thing. In 1875, Statesman was started by Robert Knight. In 1890, Statesman and Friend of India must to become Statesman. Apart from that, at, in 1865, Pioneer was started from Allahabad. But this was also important historic day. On 20th September 1878, the Hindu, Hindu was started from Madras by G. Subramaniam Iyer as a weekly. Later it was made tri-weekly in October 1883 when Kasturi Kasturiang, Kasturiangar became its editor. Okay. So in 20th September 1878, in 1889 it was made a daily, okay, in 1889 it was made a daily, on 2nd January 1881, this is very important thing, on 2nd January 1881, Kesri and Maharatta was started by Lokmanatilak, Balangatilak and Kelkar, okay, so this is the important development in the newspaper. Now let's talk about the some, some acts by British against the Indian newspapers. So Censor Act 1799 by Lord Willisley. 
so Lord Villagely uh, started Sensor Act 1799 every newspaper should print the names of printer so what was the Sensor Act every newspaper should print the name of printer editor and proprietor okay and before printing any material it should be submitted to the secretary of censorship this act was abolished by Hastings so later it was abolished by Hastings okay second regulation act was licensing regulation act 1823 by John Adam every publisher should get a license from the government so every publisher should get a license from the government defaulters would be fined rupees 400 and the press would be seized by the government government has a right to cancel the license Charles Madkoff abolished this act okay so paying rupees 400 was huge at the time so that's why it was kind of painful vernacular press act 1878 so vernacular press act criticized British rule sorry vernacular press criticized British rule so what was vernacular press vernacular means in local languages so vernacular press uh, criticized British rule too much therefore British government came down heavily on the vernacular press okay uh, and uh, magistrates were authorized to ask any publisher of newspaper to give assurance of not publishing anything creating peace and security fixed amount to be paid for security guarantee under vernacular press act the magistrates decision was final in any dispute and this law was not applicable to English press that was kind of complication this law was not applicable to English press it was repealed by Lord Ripon in 1882 that was kind of his generous attitude next thing was newspaper act 1908 newspaper act 1908 magistrate had the power to confiscate the assets of the press against this confiscation confiscation one can appeal to high court in high court in 15 days under this act as many as seven presses were fortified forfeited sorry forfeited now let's talk about press regulating act 1942 press regulating act 1942 registration of journalists was made mandatory limitation were imposed on the messages regarding civil disturbances okay prohibition of news was imposed regarding acts of sabotage limitation on headlines limitations on headlines and space given to news on disturbances limitations on headline and space given to news and disturbances okay government had the authority on arbitrary censorship so this is about press regulating act 1942 so that's all for the press under british rule and the next video i will talk about socio-religious reforms under the british india so that's all for now in the next video i'll come with that topic social religious moments till then thank you so much bye bye take care and uh, please do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much bye bye take care